Willie Mullins will have more winners than the British. <laughs> no. What? No. Of course he will. Does Matt Chapman look like a 90s rapper? <laughs> <laughs> you worry too much, Coddy. I do, I do. Losing Both. hair or this worry. Yeah, but I, do, I know. Get a piece of Lego like Matt, you'd yeah. be grand. <laughs> At least um, mine still grows. Hello, I'm Jamie Codd and welcome to Cheltenham Festival Agree to Disagree with Matt Chapman and Kevin Blake. Can I just punch him now? <laughs> <laughs> right, lads. Uh, Facile Vega is a banker in the Supreme. Matt? What? I'm in bad company here. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I knew you'd finally come round to my way of thinking. No, I can see it. Look, I, I think he's the best horse in the race. Look, it's important in life to be forgiving, hence why I'm working with Matt Chapman today. Um, and nice. look, he came back lame from his last run. I think if he, if he can get back to himself, back to what he was doing before, he goes. I think he goes and wins, doesn't he? Yeah. Well, that's exactly why, Cody, you can't believe anything Blakey says, because everyone out there knows this is all about putting a bit of cash in his back pocket. He worked with anyone if money was available. Um, but look, the simple truth is people seem to just go crazy on a defeat, don't they? It's why these horrible undefeated horses hardly ever run. Um, you know, up until one run ago, this horse was seen as one of the absolute bankers. Now it's been tailed off. It can't win. I mean, it's, of course it can win. Yep, absolutely. Can we move on. You with us? You against us? I'm against you. I think you have to decide which which I'm one against. of us has won the argument. No, I'm against. The two of you agree and I disagree. He's giving himself the win. Yeah. There we go. This is a funny game, isn't it? Because <laughs> Coddy's wrong. <laughs> John Bond is a, is a banker in the Arkham. OK, John Bond is a horse who I think will absolutely come into his own in a strong run Arkle. And he hasn't, he's, I don't even think he wants to make the running and he has been, although that's a great weapon to have. Um, but so, with the benefit of hindsight, his second in the Supreme Novice Hurdle wasn't a bad effort. I thought he was pretty brilliant in the King Edward, uh, King Edward? Uh, uh, the uh, <laughs> King, King Henry the Eighth, yeah. or whatever it's called. Um, and uh, I just think he's an absolute class machine. I think he's a class horse. I'm just a bit worried that he hasn't been in deep over fences yet. Small fields, making the run and doing his own thing. When you compare him to the Irish horses like El Fabiolo, like who've been in the fire, like in proper Have grade. They? Oh yeah, proper grade ones run, run at relentless pace. I just wouldn't be surprised if John Bond just, he, he met with a little bit of pressure last day now and he started jumping out to his right and he just didn't look as infallible as he had. So mm. I'm but thinking- he did that at Haydock last season. He, I think he is, a, there's a something about him, but I think he almost plays with them, Kev. It's like me in this competition, I'm just playing with you. You could, well, you could be right about John Bond, but uh, throw him into the fire, see how well yeah. he copes with it. I'm with choppers. Respect. <laughs> Honeysuckle will bomb out in the mayor's hurdle. Oh, it's the guy. Yeah. yeah. I don't think she'll bomb out. That's we'll it. I, I, the I, phrasing I, of the question. Yeah, I could, I could see her running well. Yeah. But there's a few younger, sharper ones there that I, would, that I think might have a little bit too much for her right now. I think she ran better than she got credit for in the Irish champion hurdle, just because they went slow. It, the ground was a bit quick for her. I think she ran fine. Like I think she's right now she's probably like a 155 mare and there's some good mares in opposition at 155 might be enough but she'll probably need to run to it so will she bomb out I think not but she'll have plenty on her plate now I mean we've all been honeysuckle fans we love what she's done but it's just awful that the last two champion hurdles have gone to her and now she won't try and win a third I mean, they say she hasn't run up to her best. We all agree with that. She's probably five pounds off it. But who's to say that she won't improve five pounds this time around? It's not impossible. Maybe she will enjoy going back to Cheltenham and having a, a different tempo of race, which you always get at the festival to most other races. Do you know what the sad thing is almost? If she goes and wins the mayor's hurdle. I'll be disappointed. Say, it'd be like Votour winning the Ryanair. Yeah. Immediately after the race, they're going, oh, God. Or Annie Power oh, winning God. the mayor's hurdle. Yeah. Or Quivega winning the mayor's hurdle, you know? It's oh. just pathetic to put those real top notches in that race just because you get a Cheltenham win, it's pathetic. I agree with the two of you. I don't think she'll bomb out, but I'd like to see her win. I think she's a fantastic man. I'd mm. love to see her win. That could, could happen. Yeah. Definitely. Constitution Hill is the best jumpstart of all time. 
Um, yeah, disagree. If you put the word could in there. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, not yet, anyway. Jerry Cologne is a banker in the Brown Advisory. Oh, this will be a tough one for you now, Jamie, I'd say. Yeah, come on, I'll, I'll listen to you first and then... I, I, I've nothing really against him. I think he'll, I think he'll love the longer trip. Mm. Um, listening to Gordon the other day, he doesn't seem as worried about the potential for nice ground as much as some of us are. Um, I've nothing against him, but I do like one against him in the real whacker. And I think he might just be a faster horse than Jerry Colomb. So he's not, I'm not, he's not saying he's a big lay in a meeting or anything, but he's not the one I fancy in it. Yeah, for me, the, the way the question has been phrased is very similar to the honeysuckle argument. You know, Jerry Colon can easily win. Is he a banker, though? Is he a Constitution Hill? Of course he's not. That race is far more tricky than that. So purely on the basis, forgetting about what else is in there, I don't think he's a banker. Well, go on. You, oh, no, you, I disagree. I think he just wins because that's what he does. He, he's not flash, but back in his point to point, he won by a neck from a horse that's rated about 110. That's just him. And that's, he's unbeaten, and until he's beaten, I'll stick with him. I bet Gordon wishes Jerry Colomb was rated 110. She'd have some fun then, wouldn't you? <laughs> Plotting away. <laughs> Energamin will bomb out in the champion chase. Mm, sim similar again. I, I like. I think. I think he'll run. Well, he's not the one I fancy, but I was disappointed with him last time. He needs to come back to himself. You know. I, I think he's better going the other way around. But go on. You might have a stronger view, Matt. No, I. I think he. I think he's. I think he's a little bit overrated now. Um, I just. I just. I was very. I mean, he's finishing off last time out was was tame. Mm. And you know. Yes, he's a champion chaser, but. He's on a he's a champion chaser by default, effectively, because a bit a bit like when Duvan came down in his his champion chase. You know, once Shishkin was out of the championship, there was nothing there, and and he looked impressive. And you look at it and you think, wow, he's tank round, but he's tank round about horses he should be tanking round again. Um, I I go with Kevin. I think he I think he'll nearly win. Well, hold on, nearly win is bombing out. No, it's not bombing out. Is like finishing. Well, hold on, it's yeah. either winning or yeah. losing. Well, well, I'm somewhere in the middle. I think he'll get yeah. beat, but I don't think he'll be out the back of the telly. Oh, so you agree, you agree with me then? No, you, no, no really I agree with Kevin. <laughs> what? <laughs> this has got very confusing. Mighty Popper. Mighty Popper. Mighty Popper. 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 Jeepers. Thank you. <laughs> I love Mighty, those Mighty Potter will bomb out in the Turners. We like this word, bomb out. Yeah. Mm, yeah, I disagree. Yeah, he's yeah. a good thing. Yeah. I'm not going to talk about him because yeah. Coddy, you don't need to talk about him either. Coddy probably no. sits on him. Yeah, no, no, I don't say that. I never, really? I haven't sat on him since he won his bumper. Got an um, even better but, chance. Then. Yeah, yeah, possibly, yeah. <laughs> but um, no, he's he's very, very good. He's very mm. good. Um, For me, he's the one horse in that race that will absolutely be running over his perfect trip for me. Mm, yeah. And there are a lot of others that might want a little bit shorter, white lot a little bit further. He will run right to the line over that trip. Yeah, I've always loved him now, and I, I put him up in the Supreme last year, sure, and that was a miserable experience. But I wouldn't hold that against him. He just didn't see him himself. He uh, pulled up. Yeah, and yeah. He, he, uh, watching the race, I wasn't happy after two yeah. after two hurdles. But I, I just uh, his jumping is just a shade inconsistent. Yeah, if he I made was, mistakes if I, last if I was time. Pick, if I was picking at him, and look, when you're short price fives, you need to pick at them a little bit. And that's one thing I would pick at. I think he could put in his best round of jumping now when he gets a good bit of pace in front of him. It'll help, it'll help him. But I don't think it's a bad race at all now. And I think if appreciated might give him plenty to think about. I think he's going to really enjoy stepping up and trip. So, yeah, race on. He's, he's one, one I'd love Davy to be on board. I thought he jumped well the last day. Yeah. Fence away he, from he was the definitely was better, yeah. He was definitely and better. And yeah. Davy even said himself, he gave him the offers there to do something and he, mm. he done a dance. Uh, I think he'll win. He's yeah. a serious horse. Mighty Popper it is. Mighty Popper, all the way. Shishkin is a good thing for the Ryanair. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, well. did, didn't, didn't think I'd be saying that now mm. a few months ago. My God. In fairness to Nicky, we give Nicky some stick like mm. about various things, but he's some man to, to do a Lazarus job on a horse, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. Because uh, yeah. this horse looked in trouble um, at the start, at the end of last season, start of this season, he looked in big trouble, and he's got him back, and he's arguably as good as ever last time and even some of the things that he used to do wrong not so long ago like there was no real hint of him jumping left which he'd done at Ascot last year 
and he was just deadly. He traveled and powered up the run in. Maybe he wanted that trip all along, but he's gonna be tough to beat. Probably not the deepest Ryanair now that Alaho's um, out. And yeah, I'm finding it hard to pick at Shishkin. Um, look, when a horse has had issues, you always worry after a big performance like that, will they be able to back up and do similar again? But that's the only, that's the only stick you have to poke him with, I think. It's interesting that in his, if you actually watch his two wins at Cheltenham, the Supreme and the Arkle, he, he, he made quite heavy weather of winning both mm, of those. It wasn't enough, like, yeah, yeah. So, so for me, he's just got a little bit to prove that Cheltenham is absolutely his favorite track. But for me, this isn't about distance. I know I've gone on about it a bit in the past, but um, I think when you get a really classy horse, the distance almost becomes irrelevant. Mm. It means it means horses like Corto Star, for instance, can win at two miles, two and a half, three, three and a quarter, because they're just better. Yeah, and yeah. that's why I still stick to my guns, that if he was in the champion chase, I would be having him as a banker of the meeting. If he's in the Ryanair, I have him as a banker in the meeting. I'm gonna disagree. I, I don't know whether he'll back it up. Mm. I'm worried that it was you, such a good performance. You worry too much, Cody. I do, I do. You're losing but, hair or this worry yeah, but as well. I, I know, but that's just a uh, helmet here. Is that what they call it? Yeah, you should get, get a piece of Lego like Matt, you'd be yeah. grand. I think you should talk. A big <laughs> Ched Ched in your head. At least um, mine still grows. I don't know whether he'll back it up, and that's, that's where I'm going to disagree okay. with the two of you. Willie Mullins will have more winners than the British. <laughs> uh, no. What? Oh. Of course he will. Oh. Well, what, last year he had 10, and the Brits had 10. Wasn't that it, something like yeah. that? It was very similar. Mm. Okay, so Constitution Hill and Shishkin, you could say are two bankers. I think the English would do okay in the handicaps. I think they could win three of the nine, maybe four. Yeah. You know. Still only up to seven. I think Willie will be yeah. hoping for more than seven. Well, then you've got other trainers. Well, funny enough, last year's Cheltenham Festival, a lot of trainers that quite a few of people will have never even heard of were mm. having winners. I yeah. mean, it wasn't just Willie. Yeah. Because Gordon had a bit of flat time, didn't he, last year? Yeah. Yeah. Not as good as usual. Not quite. He oh, wasn't. He did two last year, was it? Yeah. Yeah. When he's had eight in the past, so. Hey, look. Anyway, I'm right here. Yeah. Willie Munns is going to get more. <laughs> Just agree with me, Cody. You're Irish. Got to agree with me. It's like fake Irish. Um, the handicapper is too harsh on Irish trained horses at Cheltenham. To agree on that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I disagree. Yeah, with the way the weights came out today, like I, I, I wouldn't be as downbeat as I have been in the past looking at them. Mm. Um, I think they were tough on the juveniles, chasers. They're tough on as well, but the English always do better in the handicap chases. Anyway, hurdlers, I was happy enough with. And when the hurdlers are treated okay, the Irish normally fly in them. Yeah. So look, you're giving you take. It's their it's their playing ground. They can set the rules. But, right. mm. I think it's hard to gauge, and it will be even harder than usual to gauge at this Cheltenham Festival because the Irish have got so many numbers. Um, let's mm. face it, Martin Pike proved back in the day it's a numbers game. You throw, throw in enough at mm. them and you'll end up with winners. Um, so I think it's going to be hard to gauge, but I think the question could be rewritten as the Irish handicapper is too lenient to Irish horses back home <laughs> rather than our people mess you up. I'm going to go with you, Matt. And uh, one more thing on this. I think it's much easier to get a horse handicapped in Ireland than it is over here, in those big fields. Uh, it's, it's probably not unreasonable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah big. So, much easier. Yeah. You can bury one out there. Whew. Davy Russell is the best jockey at the Cheltenham Festival. This year? Ooh, I'd say as a general comment, I'll, I'll, I'll disagree. He had that incredible run, didn't he? Was it something like eight years in a row he had a winner at Cheltenham? Oh, more, I'd say. It might be more. Yeah. A phenomenal run, no, only broken relatively recently. Like, he's class around mm. there. Look, the Irish lads, without getting that way, like, to me, are a different level around there. Mm. You know, there's a different style to riding in Britain. It's more positive. In Ireland, they're a little bit more inclined to wait. And at Cheltenham, that waiting style, as you'll know well as anyone, mm. Jamie, to come up the hill, you have to come, you have well, to come down. Well, you no, I'm, I'm no, just I'm, I'm, I'm making a general comment. He's no. the best. Okay. Yeah. yeah, no, but he disagreed. He doesn't think he is the best. No, no, no. So you think no, who's the better the, then? The, the Irish are the best. But the that guy, like the Ruby and people like that, like is that what we're talking about? Like, well, you Ruby's know, not ever. riding. But are we talking right I think, now? I think it's not yeah, this riding year's now, Kevin. Festival. Obviously, we're not going this back in history. Oh. Is Davy Russell no, look, the best. Davy, oh. Davy Russell at 42 or 3. No, I don't think I don't think Davy Russell at 42 or 3 would be the best jockey at Chelsea. Okay. Well, who do you think is then? Um, well, I'd have Townend over him for sure. Would you? Um, no. He's wrong. You're wrong here. Yeah, just just at the stage of his career, he is. Jeez, he was retired a couple of months ago. 
I mean, he is the best Cheltenham jockey. If we, I mean, if we're talking basically, well, that's what we're saying, isn't he? At the moment, he's the best Cheltenham jockey. Lots of jockeys that I think are incredible and I'd have no problem backing at all. But if you've got to say one of them riding this time around is the best, I think history dictates Davy Russell is the best. I'd have Jack, I'd have Jack ahead of him. Oh, I, I, I'm not Just getting into that. remember what team no, you Because Jack for. is not there, but I think historically, Davy Don't Russell hanging too long. is the best. Are we, but are we talking historically Cody? or this year? Cody? Well, this year Un is. Unclear Cody? questions. Ah, he, Davy Cody? Russell at his age, for what he's doing. Cody! Don't leave me hanging too long. <laughs> Jesus. Um, I think what Davy has done this year, uh, retired and come back, won a grade one, I think he'll come back in Cheltenham and he'll have a few more winners. Oh, wouldn't be a shock I, at I, all, yeah, yeah. Davy Russell is class around Cheltenham. Yeah. yeah, no, I don't disagree. Well, what you is? did just now, you put up disagree. Cato Star is better than Denman. Corto. Uh, yeah. You've yeah, got yeah. to agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. On Denman's sure. very best day now, ooh, in a Gold Cup. Mm. Ooh, I don't think Cato Star ever really truly enjoyed the Gold Cup, but he was so I good. I think career-wise, Cato Star. Okay, is thanks, Kevin. Best. Next question. <laughs> Sprinter Sacker is the, is the best two-mile chaser of all time. No, no, no. He's there. He's there. He's up there. Yeah, he's that's what boy. I think ooh. was better. If he had a better chassis, he might have. He might have got there. Well, story of your life. <laughs> Vatour is the best jumper you've seen around Cheltenham. Gosh, oh, I've seen Jack. so many, but he, he was no, brilliant. But he, cool. he, won, I'd have to he won the really consolation race. Yeah, but it was a brilliant it race. Was a fair. Does Matt Chapman look like a '90s rapper? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't think anyone could say. If you, that have, I look, if you have the full range, no one can say I look like a rapper. <laughs>